I think in um, 1994, we started thinking of setting up an university, mostly because we felt that the large numbers of our students are going abroad, going to United States, Europe, because the quality education was not available in this country. We're here with a member of the BRAC University uh, team. Uh, tell us your name and tell us the name of your robot. I'm Rajin from BRAC University, Bangladesh. But right now we are looking at Brock University's run and we have movement on Throwbots. Things seem to be progressing. Uh, they are almost uh, 11 minutes into the competition. Our robot is John Robot. Final is Holland Leiden University, Israel Rafael Rekanante University Director or Amadad Brack University Director. This year's winners, Rafael Puro Asia theke China bolen, Indonesia bolen, Korea bolen. Ukhan theke amader congratulations yaoshe. Na, tumra Asia ar hoye champion hoyeche. Dhaka, the bustling metropolitan that harbors a staggering population of 10 million, an urban maze of complex and intricate road network. Seldom are these city streets empty, always in motion, always alive. Indeed, like all major cities in the world, Dhaka runs like clockwork. Despite the unforgiving heat, the streets shrouded in a smoke and dust cloud, the city never ceases to move at its own pace. The mundane nature of city life often exhausts one stream of aspirations, and you may find yourself standing at the edge of a sidewalk, contemplating as life passes you by. The residential campus forms the crossroad between nature and education. It is a culmination of Brack University's ambition to provide its students with an environment that inspires creativity, reinstates community living, and reinforces friendship and social bonding. The entire campus spans a staggering area of about 20 acres, bearing seven dormitories for the accommodation of students. The largest male dorm is the Krishnachura, with a capacity of 126, whilst the largest female dorm, the Shujodoy, holds a capacity of 113. Most of the academic activities and the general classes are held in the Sola building. The campus library can be found in the new building, which also has a modern computer lab. Additional labs are available in facilities such as the Rupantar building. The Savar campus has four large dining halls, for catering to the everyday meals of the students. These core buildings play a crucial role in the everyday operation of the entire campus, and they form the very foundation on which the residential semester stands. The students here in RS never fails to seize a beautiful morning for jogging an adequate physical exercise. The fresh air, the incandescent morning sun, and the tranquility of nature itself makes for an experience so unique that it is simply impossible to replicate outside residential semester.
From its inception, Brack University's core ambition has been to revolutionize higher education in Bangladesh. The educational foundation of Bangladesh is heavily reliant on learning through memorizing, where the very concept of learning loses much of its inherent value. Brack University aims to deliver a comprehensive and holistic approach towards education, where learning through practical application and real-life implication attains the highest priority. Acknowledging the benefits and immense importance of unity in modern society, the education system is also designed to promote teamwork and enhance collaboration skills among students. These fundamental philosophies form the cornerstone of the academic structure of the residential semester. We offer a compulsory course titled Ethics of Culture here in this residential semester. This course aims to give students a reflective understanding of well-being and a good life. Good life depends on good actions or we can say virtuous actions. And that are virtuous actions will make them virtuous human. And this course will teach them what are the virtuous actions, what they should in their lives, in a given situation in which you encounter with dilemma. And this course also teaches them the guideline of doing good things in their lives so they can have good, beautiful, an of life and broadly speaking a successful life. Indeed, the humanities course of the residential semester is intended for the edification of students in the principles of ethics and morality. It teaches students to pursue a life of virtue and lays the moral groundwork for the distinction between right and wrong. Even an act as simple as the proper disposal of litter in recycled beams can reflect the depth of one's excellence of character. That is why students at the residential semester are encouraged to be proactive at disposing waste. Not just their own, but also that of others. The most unique attribute of this course is a social learning lab. It is a program where for one day, the students are solely responsible for operating the entire campus facility. From administration to manual labor, from cooking and cleaning to guarding, posts from every functional sector of the campus are randomly assigned to each student. The driving force behind this program is to teach students the value of equality and to induce a strong sense of respect towards people of all professional tiers of society. Bangladesh Studies is a three credit course which is being offered in Brack University Summer Campus as a compulsory course for each and every student of the university. The most eye-catching event of this part is a stage drama through which students demonstrate the whole history of the country on one stage. An extension of the Bangladesh Studies course includes visits to historic and monumental sites such as the Lalbagh Fort and the Liberation War Museum. These extremely important sites are often overlooked and rarely visited by people these days. The students of the residential semester are taken to these historic landmarks so that they can learn to appreciate the rich heritage and the profound history of this great nation. As part of experiential learning, we take students to different villages to visit various BRAC programs so that they can get a clear idea about the rural economic structure and understand the sufferings of the marginalized people, which will eventually motivate them to take initiatives to improve the condition.
Je m'appelle Sharka. Je suis au poste de français. Ni hao. Wo jiao ma li hao. Wo shui zhong wen. Hello, I'm Mui Reza, and I'm a student of the English Dual Purpose. We live in a world of globalization, where the ever-increasing integration of international culture is giving rise to a homogenous society. To excel in this modern world, it is imperative for young graduates to be a part of this global culture. As they set out to take on the world, their ability to communicate becomes their most powerful tool. Bearing that in mind, Brack University has a dedicated body called BIL, Brack Institute of Languages. Its objective is to design language courses that builds and enhances the speaking and writing skills of secondary language, especially English. It also teaches students how to apply these skills in academic and professional papers, so that it reflects their linguistic competence. The three core languages taught are English, French, and Mandarin Chinese. When we first started our residential semester, most of us were not aware of the arts activity. Uh, we get to choose from a range of co-curricular activities, starting from singing and dancing to spelling bee and recycling. Uh, we choose the one that does not clash with our regular class timing and something that we're actually interested in. Due to the unique nature of the residential semester, students are exposed to an environment that is distinctly academic yet unmistakably domestic. In order to effectively utilize their leisure time and to ensure that their interest is engaged, students here are introduced to a myriad of extracurricular activities. These include linguistic activities such as debate and English presentation skills to improve verbal and communication skills brain activities such as chess to enhance mental prowess, exceptional ones such as yoga which teaches students to relax and help them attain mental peace and stability. Along with that, there are traditional gardening activities and complementing that is a new and innovative horticulture method called hydroponics, where plants are cultivated indoors on nutrient-based soil medium instead of soil. The ingenuity of hydroponic lies in the fact that through this technique, plants can grow virtually anywhere. The students trained in this activity can start gardening in their own homes or even in apartment buildings without the need for land mass. I signed up for recycling. What we do here is we recycle plastic bottles and other unused materials and make something useful. Uh, we've made flower vases and baskets and a lot of other things. In my English song class, uh, we sing uh, different songs from different genres like rock, hip-hop, uh, pop. It's so much fun and it's so much lively. That's why my English song class is the best. The weekends also consist of seminars on a wide array of topics, starting from the history of the inception of Bangladesh to its contemporary socio-economic structure. The motive behind these seminars is to feature important individuals from different aspects of Bangladesh and let them speak about the current conditions in their respective fields or share the real-life experience of a historic event of Bangladesh. There are seminars on the Liberation War, where real freedom fighters share their experience, their struggle, and the remarkable significance of the war in shaping the present and future of this country.
in RS we have two fields. On this big football field and where we play cricket as well as 11 aside football. The other is a small field where we play mini cricket, mini football and other sports. Uh, besides that we have a basketball court, a newly constructed basketball court. Uh, when the clock ticks four, doesn't matter who, doesn't matter where, doesn't matter who we are, whether we can play or not, we just come down to play. This semester holds a large degree of focus towards sports. Providing a healthy and natural environment to the student is of utmost importance. Thus, the campus has two large fields, something scarcely available to students in an urban landscape. Students can play all forms of games and sports including football, cricket, basketball and volleyball. There are also provision for indoor games like table tennis and carom. These games keep students entertained and refreshed and later on they find it much easier to focus on their studies. Of course, with so much activity, injuries and accidents are frankly inevitable. Bearing that in mind, the campus maintains an effective medical unit with proficiently trained medical personnel to attend to any medical needs of students at any given time. As daylight fades out and twilight creeps in, the campus takes on a new shade. After a day spent in all sorts of sports and activities, evening is apparently the best time to focus towards education. Hence, begins the study hour from 7 to 8 p.m. During this one hour period, it is mandatory for every student to be present inside an academic facility such as Shalla or the library. The library provides an extensive collection of academic and fictional works. The purpose of the study hour is not meant to force students to learn only their course material, but to develop a habit of reading among students and the relatively short time allocated for the study hour also makes sure that it is not too restrictive. After all, here, it's not just about reading textbooks. After an exhilarating hour of studying, it's time for a hearty meal. The four large dining halls start serving dinner from 8.30 p.m. sharp. A lot of thought is put into the preparation of each meal. The food served has to be healthy and nutritious, only using pure ingredients free from any form of adulteration. The combination of food items served has to cover each major food groups such as carbohydrate, protein, vitamin and minerals. And of course, it has to be delicious. The kitchen staff is keen at maintaining a high degree of quality control. So the whole process of cooking, serving and cleaning is extremely hygienic. Apart from maintaining a high standard for food, students are also taught proper dining etiquette and encouraged to use cutleries during the formal dinners held once every week. After dinner, Students are often seen enjoying their free time around Anandapur. One of the most remarkable sights to behold at night is to see students sing there. Whether it's in groups or in a solo feat, the sweet melody of music always floats through the night air. However, the melodies of these brilliant singers are not left bound only to themselves. In order to showcase their artistry, Brack University holds a cultural program, which for one night creates a platform for students to perform and demonstrate their numerous talents. Today we live in a society where we don't have time to know our neighbors. So we can't grow by sharing and caring for each other. And these people lack empathy and compassion in their hearts. Brack University wanted to create an atmosphere where the students get the experience of community living. We wanted the students to learn how to share a room and common dining with a person they didn't know the day before. We wanted them to know how it feels to share all the happiness and sorrows and make them realize the togetherness that leads to a righteous society which in time becomes the building blocks of a prosperous country. Upon asking a student what he took away from Brack University, he said, Savar changed my life. 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 
Savar changed my life. Savar changed my life. Savar changed my life. Savar changed my life. Savar changed my life. Savar changed my life.